Anyway, so we are getting right into this tournament. Yeah, Welcome to a beat down at the big. Like, All right. We're doing it. All the mechanics playing Ed today. Fantastic. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. You don't have to forgive my co-host here. Uh, but welcome to the beat down at the bay, everybody. I am Three Frame Jad. And up first, we have the mechanic going against 14K, Ed versus Guile. We have one dude that's all charged and the other guy who has no directional inputs whatsoever. It's just all buttons and directions. Ed needs to get in. I mean, he's a boxer. That, that's kind of his thing. Nice. Gets the EX upper through it, but then gets flash kicked for his troubles. Mmm. Unhand me, fiend. Ooh, you can't jump in on Guile. I'm sorry, somersault kick now. I hate that they changed the name of that. And 14K takes that first round fairly convincingly. Come on, Ed. You can't try to space him out like that. You're a boxer. Just because you have a projectile doesn't mean it's necessarily good. Solid combo. Very good. Hmm. Good block. Well, no perfect for Gao this time. That's fine. Man, he's, uh... Gao's throwing everything at Ed, and he is just running into it. Just like that, 14K takes that first game over the mechanic. So, the question remains, are we going to see a character switch? Or are they going to go right back into it? Is the mechanic going to make any necessary adjustments so they can actually get himself on the board? Or is it just going to be a complete wipeout? Nope, going right back into it. Let's see if he uh, learned anything from that last fight. The one thing he should learn is how to block. Gonna hand me. See, I don't agree with him trying to challenge Gal's projectiles with his own, because Gal can throw out two projectiles in a time it takes for you to throw out one. Nice, nice throw. Oh, it was a clean jump in, but didn't follow up with the combo. But still pushes him into the corner. Oh, well, now you're in the corner. That's not where you want to be against the Gal that knows what he's doing. Upside down kick. Stuffs it out. All right, he won. Mechanic went around. Good job. Let's see if he can keep this going. Actually, get himself a game. Maybe two. All right, good jump in. Solid combo. Ooh, ex flash kick right in the revert. Right in the turn. And the upside down kick is so deceptive. All right, good flick punch. Gets blocked though. Whoa, that wasn't a flash kick. I'm surprised. Hmm, see, he tried to do it again, but he didn't have enough charge. Oh, there you go. Nice. I like that punish. And it's not dead yet. Overhead. Punish into V-Trigger Cancel into Super Art. Or, I'm sorry, Critical Art. But he now goes into this final round with no meter. So let's see how well he's able to fare. Well, now they're both they're both pretty much even with the meter now. Don't jump in, Vice. Don't jump at Guile. Ooh, EX flash kick once again. Get thrown. Oh man, that was right in the gut. Yeah, it's trying to establish space, which again, your Ed, I don't know why you're trying to get away from him. Get in his face. Don't let him breathe. Get off of me. Nice anti air. A little late, but it was still good. Hmm. No mix-up, though. That's good. Uh-oh. Smack. Smack. Ooh! Flash kick. Just like that. 14K takes it. Over the mechanic. 2-0. Oh, the gentleman exchanging PSN information so that they can play later on. 
That's some good sportsmanship for you all. So, we're going to find out who is up next. Well, I hope everybody watching is having a wonderful day and staying warm because it is snowing still. I'm so glad when winter's over with because I'm not a fan of the snow. I don't like being cold. I don't like driving in it. I don't like shoveling it. I don't even like to look at it anymore. It can all just, it can all just go up somewhere. one thing about early on in the tournament everybody's doing their own thing as far as playing the games so we gotta wait for those to finish so we know who's gonna be coming up next Oh, looks like we have our own HF coming up to the st still going up to our stage. So, are you playing uh, Overwatch the other day? Yes, I was. I sent you an invite. I didn't see it. Who? I was playing it and I was waiting for my friends to queue up, so I like went upstairs to like go eat and stuff. And then I didn't come back till like 20 minutes later, and then. What did you say? Huh? Yeah. Yo. Yo. What I, name? I, I finally got to try. What? It, it feels good. It's fun. Yeah, what what name are you under in this? Uh, I guess it's under Jeff Gold who question mark. I told him to, to write Jeff Goldblum and, and misspell it like fuck. But he just added a who at the end. Okay, well you're Jeff Goldblum. Fine, fuck it. So we got HF versus Jeff Goldblum. Apparently. Not sure how this is gonna go, but it should be fine. It should be entertaining, if nothing else. Yeah, I um, I play Overwatch every now and then with friends, mainly just like casually. So, no, <laughs> it's way too toxic. <laughs> it's the only shooter I like. I like the lore and the characters. It's like. Pixar took Team Fortress 2 and said, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> no, it's um, Blizzard. Blizzard made it. I'm gonna these scrub lords over there. Fucking give me tips for these double check. I'm still here. I need to know if if the colleague feature the two goes down or not. No. It does not. No. It doesn't deplete. Doesn't look like it. I couldn't tell. Because in the in the preview video, everybody else's V trigger went down every time they did something. His did. So I'm like. Yeah, but so all he gets is just quote unquote change normals and a and a, and a projectile. Character. Yeah, he gets a projectile. I'm like, see just. It's a it's a it's a two hit slow moving projectile. Well, my question is, what's the difference? If, can't, if that's the case, why not just? Use it? If that's the case, why use V Trigger One? Wait, wait. I think that might just been added to V Trigger One. No, that was V Trigger Two. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, what's the point at that point? So we're gonna have Akuma versus Mikali. Oh. Hi, folks. Oh, you're back. I exist again. Is the bathroom intact? It'll live. Alright, sounds like a yes then. 
Exactly. Oh, that's, that's the best costume. Yeah. Oh, it was in as that one. Alright, this game's Big Bad versus all the other games Big Bad. He's not even really a Big Bad, he's just a nuisance. His whole point of existing was to get gut checked by Ryu, which is now his V-Trigger too. You know what, I haven't actually seen what Nikali's V-Trigger 2 will do. Um, as far as I can tell, he has a he has a slow movie projectile. Oh. And but it also doesn't go to his V-Trigger also doesn't go down. Oh, okay. Oh man. Oh. We got Saberwolf. Yeah. Speaking of, I'm, man, I wish that was a game that was on a better system. <laughs> uh, it sounds like one of our competitors has become DQ'd. Possibly for spending too much time playing the, the one AE console that's up. Probably. I'm not sure. But hey, HF won that first round. Good for HF. I wonder if he's become incensed to uh, better his Akuma play now that Rob TV has picked him up as an alt. Possibly. That or he's been laughing it up something fierce. Yeah. Who's to say? Yeah, uh, Jeff Goldblum over, over here. Uh, he's rusty. Oh yeah. We can, I can see he needs some CLR in his life. Uh, uh. Over there. Do you think he can see how early now that the rain is gone? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Jeff Goldblum took a roll. Oh, jeez. Which was actually really neat because it looked like he actually played this game there for yeah, a little bit. Yeah, those active frames follow that all the way down, but it looks like Nikali and uh, Akuma fall at the same, uh, same speed. You should have come. We welcome everybody. If you are able to get here, you should. Now, that being said, the roads are atrocious. Because yeah. I didn't even drive here. I said, F that. I'm not going out in that if I don't have to. But then I got someone else to take me a ride. So I was like, hey. I don't know. They still look fairly even right now as far as life and being able to open each other up. Yeah, Macaulay definitely has the life advantage. But Kuma can play the long game, so... Both sitting on fat stacks. Get down. Alright, no reason for uh, Jeff to not pop that V trigger. Uh oh, is he gonna get caught? Nope, but he oh! is. And that recovery frames. Gut check, sir. Ugh. Yo. To paraphrase. Uh, to paraphrase, death found a way. Yeah? So give me your baby. Uh! At that point, Jeff had asked him, your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not you could that you didn't stop to ask if you should. Yep. Meaning, why did you think, you, just because you thought you could fight me, doesn't mean that you should fight me. Alright, we got a couple drop combos from Jeff Goldblum. That's okay, it's his Jeff Goldblumisms. Yep. You know, every drop combo is a ah. Uh, it's a stutter, yeah. It's uh, uh, well, uh, uh, um. Yeah, I was uh, going to throw out this uh, the sweep, but uh, you know. Um, uh, I was going to uh, drop uh, dis I, discus of the sun, but uh, I. Uh, uh, I dropped this combo, so uh, now I have to like uh, just go for it on the fly. You're welcome. <laughs> did, 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 did you did you like that fly reference? I I, I, I was in that too. <laughs> He's like, I was in that too. Who cares? <laughs> oh, EXTP! I've got one of those. Uh oh, but mine is like yours. See, I got one too. Only I talked to her mind. It's kind of true. And as we've seen, the uh, the, the EXDP is completely uh, vulnerable between the uh, first and second string hits. Yep. Crush counter a bowl. So I like how Bubakuma and Nakali are both glowing the exact same line oh, green. Yeah. Who needs Dragon Ball fighters when you got this shit? What does what does that have? What does that mean? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, 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 they're basically sayings at this point. Like, come, uh, on, like, come on. I, I guess. Ah, ah, ah! 
Oh, look at that big damage. Well, big for Akuma. He, he only has like a drop of health in the bucket. Yeah. You hit him three good times, he's dead. Are you second only to Dalzim now? I thought he had the lowest health. I don't know. It's been a while. I used to know this way more definitively. Now I'm just kind of throwing the guesses out to the wind, seeing what sticks. And it might all change tomorrow. Probably. We'll see. They haven't released those patch notes yet. It's just, oh, bugs and fixes. And we're adjusting hitboxes and frame data. That doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, really. Uh, oh, 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 is he going to do the same? Uh, the anime people prefer to call it V-Trigger. Thank you. <laughs> or not, not V-Trigger, but uh, Chain Shift. Oh. Well. Daring, but ineffective. Very. Uh, man, his teeth are perfect. Look at that. Jeez. What's that chompers he like He cares that? about two things. Perfecting his power and oral hygiene. Yeah. Ooh, character select. Who knows? Are we going to see character change? Probably not. Are we going to see a uh, stage change? Probably not. Are Maybe a costume, a costume change? change. Probably not. <laughs> Prove me wrong. One for three. Okay, so he went to the samurai one. Feudal mode Nakali. Eh, it's not as good as uh, Saber Wolf Nakali. It's not even as good as uh, Samurai Wolf. Yeah, Dead Samurai Ryu. Oh, Bishamon Ryu? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody. Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad for you. No one's going to get that. <laughs> like, no one's. I know what it is. AKA Gridman. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going to get those costumes for everybody else now. Now I have to learn Karen because she gets Ingrid to get that costume. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> like, Capcom knew what they were doing. <laughs> I think it was uh, Nash is getting. I think Nash is getting um, Captain Commando. Commando. Yeah, I'm like, great. <laughs> yeah, now I'm gonna like, fuck, now I have to learn how to play Nash. Again, for me. Did you see uh, Chun-Li's weird one? No. It's it's like Cutie Honey almost. Cutie Honey? A, a, a little bit. I know it's some other property, but it fucking looks like something Cutie Honey should wear. I'd have to see it. What I'm most excited for is Rashid getting beautiful Joe. I'm like, oh, yes, oh, thank you. Man. You guys are speaking to my demographic. Yo, <laughs> didn't, um... Didn't Infiltration just say that uh, Nikali's new V-Trigger like basically makes him like the best character in the game? Wouldn't surprise me. I don't know what it does other than like you get a small moving projectile. Well, it's not even that slow, quite honestly. It's like Laura's fully charged electric thingy. It's like, and it doesn't drain, so I'm like, why use V-Trigger one? <laughs> But again, well, I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't know what it actually does yet. Yeah. I will more than likely switch Ugh. to uh, V-Trigger 2 from Chun. Hey, uh, oh. But, uh, yeah, I heard that her V-Trigger 1 is also getting buffed, so, you know. Well, that's cool. They could definitely use it. It's well, very, very situational v, v Well, I'm uh, sorry, V... Yeah, V-Trigger, that's right. I think well, it's going to last longer. I think they gave her an extra bar. Both players are one round, one game, and one round piece. I just realized we haven't been talking about this fight this entire match. I was like, man, I feel like I should say something. It's for the whole Magilla. It's for the World Series. Hey, could you sound any more tired? And the he could fight his way out the corner, or he, you know, Kuma could just put him out the corner. That works too. He said, no, we're going around the world. Take from one corner to the other corner. Hey, that's where all my insides reside right now. The corner? From one, from one corner of the world oh, to the other. Oh, no! Oh, right through! <laughs> Here's another one! Ugh. Yep! You know, how they, you know how they ask if it's too late to abort? Soul punchy! <laughs> it's not too late to abort. Because he just aborted him. Just, ugh! Abort the balloons! Abort the <laughs> celebration! Abort the babies! Just, Sorry, Father. <laughs> but just like that. 
Jeff Goldblum takes it over to HF. 2 1. Hooray, Jeff Goldblum. He was excellent in Thor Ragnarok. He was, he was hilarious. His chaos theory was correct. Speaking of chaos theory, I miss Splinter Cell. You miss what? Splinter Cell. The third game is called Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Oh. <laughs> I remember the hey, making like fun of. I remember the making. Oh, okay. I remember the making fun of uh, Splinter Cell on Pemi Arcade way back in the day. Mm. When they were like, basically like, it's like Splinter Cell, uh, or adjective noun, like. <laughs> 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 it was, the, 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 one of my favorites was like there, there were three panels and I only remember two of them. One was like puppy hat and the other was like uh, popcorn goggles. Random. Looks like next up we got lightbright.jpg versus GL809. So we're going to have a Vega versus hopefully Karen. Bumps. He's going to die here. Uh, Hey, Light Bright going to her own stage. You know, nothing against 16-bit, but I wish they had a giant, like, cushy leather sofa for me to sit on, like, in pins. Yeah, that's not going to go so well in a bar. A guy! But, but oh, right. Pins has a bar, and they've got comfy leather couches. I forgot that he plays Guile. Alright. It's, it's true. Well, oh, let's see how he, so well he fares. Wall jumps versus flash kicks. But we'll see if either player are aware enough to be able to pull that off. This guy wearing tactic gear for. Well, he, he is fighting a dude with a claw, so it's probably helpful. Yeah, it can't hurt. It's not like there's like movement restrictions or anything based on costumes. I don't know. He might be so buff that every time he flexes to like. Oh shit! It like rubs against his nipples the wrong way, and it caused him a weird erection. Oh my god! But that air throw was beautiful done. Not to mention the uh, sonic boom that uh, knocked uh, Lightbright out of the wall bounce. Nah. Oh, I wanted him to punch. Oh! I expected the anti-air just like yeah. Oh! Almost threw him back into it. That would have been hilarious. Oh shit! Do it again. Did you know that Vega makes for good light reading? <laughs> sure. <gasps> Pops over. Uh, oh, with the throw. Oh, uh, rolling God. crystal no. flunk. EX on a boom, fast projectile of the game. Can't F with it. Not with seven frame delay. <clears throat> so, uh, first round goes GL 809. Yep. Uh, putting in that work. Uh-oh. That flash kick was a little off course. Uh, <laughs> oh. Ooh, smacks him out of that DX flash of Sonic Boom. Oh, hang on. We have a reversal of fortunes and positions. No! Oh, nope. It just gets uh, thrown down from the air. Because, you know, that's fair. Get wrecked, amigo! Ah! Oh, that's unfortunate. That could have been a huge punish. Yeah. That's basically like setting setting the cheese down in the mouse trap, and the mouse just runs by and grabs it and walks away. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting trade. Holding up the cheese the entire time just to taunt me. Just on the corner. Upside down kick in your hand. So, with that. GL 809 takes the first game over Lightbright.jpg. I guess if you see the So, let's see. Is there going to be any character adjustment or are they just going right back into it? Oh, going right back into it. Alright, good spacing with the claw. Like, actually, real good spacing. Ooh, a little too early for that slide. Although he 
Vega can slide under the projectile. He just needs to time the Vega player needs to time it right. Well, I don't know if Vega can slide under that one. It's a little too has too much girth to it. <laughs> Alright, good slot uh, good trip afterwards. Lightbright's making very good use of those wall jumps. Ooh, gets thrown out the sky. He says, remember, I know how to do those. He's like, yeah, don't try to go under it. Ooh. Wow, that throw whiff took forever, it felt like. Oh, unfortunate. Sonic Boom catches her. Light right on the way up to the wall to jump off of it. Sonic Boom is fast. You can't underestimate the speed of it. All right, good. Mixes it up with the grab. Dow slowly getting worked into the corner, but he fights his way out. Wow, that was impressive. You just jump up here and just chuck him right back down. able to block it. Ooh, backbreaker. I was wondering when we were going to see that today. Alright. Trying to go in with some pokes. I wonder if... So yeah, I wonder if really, Light Bright is probably thinking, like, I need to get in, get a couple of grabs off. Well, there was one attempt. V reversal, it gets the space up, creates distance. <laughs> Back fist went right over her head. Ooh, that flash kick. Ugh. And the overhead. Just like that. Oh, I love the display of affection here. All fun and games between us. But with that, GL09 takes it over Light Bright 2 0. So we're going to see who is coming up next. Find our next two combatants. So to all you beautiful people out there, hope you're all having a wonderful time watching all of us beat each other down at a bar downtown Columbus. But not really, just in a video game, because it's all fun. Hey, what's going on, Hesitation? Glad you could join us this evening. I hope you're staying warm and not out on these awful, awful roads because I hate snow in Ohio. Well, I hate snow, period, but I especially hate it here in Ohio. Seems like any time any kind of precipitation falls from the sky, people just lose their collective minds. No one knows how to drive. No one really knows how to park. Everybody just decides rules don't apply anymore. We got, uh, we got trash, HD trash build and HF Who? Okay. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna have HD Trash Milk versus A Chef. That is an interesting name. Yes, snow indeed makes people crazy. It's not even snow. Any time, it's like any precipitation. Snow, sleet, <laughs> rain, hail. People just lose their effing minds. No one knows what to do. It's kind of ridiculous. But on player one side, we're going to have H a chef. Uh, on player two side, HD Trash Milk. That's uh, name and a half. It's 
where the mind games begin. What buttons to use? What to bind to what? Say, let's go, guys. You gotta select and make your first pick. You know, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Choose to pick the best one because 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See how sick that was? I rhymed one with one. Oh my god, such fire. Well, on HF side, we're going to have Akuma, and on the player two side, we're going to have Armika. Prepare to strike. Engage. Doing a whole lot of not hitting each other. There you go. Get thrown. Woo. You gonna drop kick me? I'm just gonna kick you out the sky. Oh, nice. Crush counters are out of that drop kick. It's work to the corner slowly. Slowly working his way out. Interesting trade. Alright, good dive kick. He knew not to push anything after that. Yeah. Oh, she just whiffs entirely. Nice. Way to close it out. It may not seem like a lot of damage, but Akuma doesn't have that much health, so three solid combos on him, and he's usually out through the game. Oh, no, you can't just throw that out there like that, sir. Good thing you didn't get a bigger punish, that's all. All right, he XP's into the corner, but he has a teleport, he can easily get out. So the tech then at that point is how to chase down the teleport. Go sure you. Hmm. I see he was trying to go for that crush counter. Maybe hoping he would push a button. Gets thrown. Oh! Throws him in between. And just like that, Armika takes that game. Runs up behind her. can't see your eye. Move your fake hair. That, well, I paradoxically feel better. Yeah, getting all that crap out of you tends to do that. Oh. Figuratively, not literally. Well, but literally, too. Yes, I, I am an empty vessel at the moment, let's just say that. That's, that's fantastic. If I was Dark Souls 3, I'd be full hollow. Okay. Could have easily been a could have easily been a bleach reference too. Eh, Dark Souls came first. No, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, it did. No, it didn't. I'm, I'm really sure the first one did. No. Or Demon Souls at least. No. Yeah, because that was PS2. Yeah, you know when Bleach came out. Nineties. <laughs> no. Yeah. You like how Naruto came out in like '96. Yeah, that's old. They're fucking old, dude. <laughs> oh, they're almost dead. Holy crap. Yep. So he's HP trash buff today? Yep, apparently. Bullshit. Hey, that's what the bracket said. Cereal sauce is the best. That. Oh, that cross up jumping. Uh, steps on her. Mm. 
Now he does all this to do the damage. The army can hit him twice. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, One. young lady, but with no glowy parts, you don't get to fight on my level. I don't know, he's been doing so thus far just easily. Because I've got. I'm saying she's got no glowy parts. Yes, yeah, exactly. Doesn't seem to stop her. Hey, Chef won that first one. No, he didn't. The first round he did? Oh, first round, yeah. I'm talking about the first game. Oh, well, I like, didn't Like, didn't win a single round. I didn't see the first game. Mm -hmm. I was otherwise uh. occupied. Well, he won this game. Yep. One each, both on the board. I think Chef must be the coldest human being alive. He's always wearing, like, eight layers and a hat. Probably. Needs more iron. Let's go, you Indy! Brian! Brian, are you from Indy? Brian, are you from Indy? You don't text? Lame! That joke was so bad. <laughs> uh, I, didn't even, I didn't even pay attention. Yeah, you didn't miss much. Ooh! I got to teleport. You got to try harder to hit me. Do you live in Indiana? <laughs> If you have to explain your joke, it's lame. <laughs> no, I got it. It was still bad. <laughs> no, what? Don't try to don't try to encourage him. <laughs> I was actually feeling really down last night, so I just chewed up like every Dave Chappelle Netflix special for the past like three years. Yeah, how did all three of those go? Pretty good. <laughs> no, like he hadn't had a lot. Actually, he had he had two in there that, that I didn't know about. Uh oh, drop kick! Oh, uh, you can't get in the sky. DPS, that's what we like to see. Well, air grab, but still. Long eh. headbutt. That was like in his butt too. Yeah. Oh god, my coccyx! Nah, eh, it's a wig anyway, should be fine. Walk it off your memory soon. Ryan, bring that key. Nice! Uh, Jumps out! Uh, oh no! And then misses that. Whoop! Whoop! I guess you did it to just get uh, across the stage. Finally getting a player two start menu. I, know, man. <laughs> I say that like it's not been in every other fighting game ever. And, ne and next year you can be the same character. Oh, is that not a thing? <laughs> oh, like, oh, really? What do you want? Yeah. Yeah. Well, say hi. Leave. We're working. Yeah. Unfortunate. But just like that, HD Trash Mail takes it over <laughs> HF. Ow. Move your wig! God, we can't see your face! <laughs> Brittany's bringing sexy back. Who? No, nah, now nah, she looks more like a Becky or a Karen. So we gotta find out who is up next. Um, I think it's Vaughn, Rob TV. Get over here and talk. I think it's Rob TV. We got a friend Vaughn Doom over here. What up, what up? What up? How's everybody doing? Welcome to 16 Bit. We having a good time. Everybody's playing Street Fighter. It's a wonderful, snowy, cold day. I love it. Trash milk came in with. The you know what I think? When I when I hear trash milk, you know when you got it when you take out the trash. And it's like the liquid is in, in the bottom of the trash bag. That's what I think when I feel when I when I hear trash milk. Trash milk. What up, Hez? Let's go, Hez. <laughs> Let's get it in. Your name? Scotty Tippett. Okay. It should be in there. Sir. That's my boy. Sir. Yeah. All right, you're in here. That's helpful. Oh, you play, you play, you play Rob? Oh, man, you better say I, I don't know where, I don't know where in the bracket we are. Uh, yeah. It's alright. Why are you acting so serious? 
Yo, hesitations on the chat. Yeah, calls yeah, man. Calls you free. Yo, here comes Scotty Tippin. Has. I'm glad you know who that is. Cause I have no idea who this person is. Never seen him in my life. What hesitation? Oh, Scotty? No, man. Scotty, yeah. Scotty's part of the Mansfield crew. That would be why he never yeah. shows up. I'm like, who? <laughs> Whenever somebody says that, it always makes me think of that scene from, uh, from Fifth Element with the with the, the deaf composer or, or battle ball player or whatever the fuck he is. Like, he's not gonna get much out of this concert because he's stone deaf. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, anytime, if I'm on, if I commentate, or if I'm just talking about anything, and it's something either I don't know about, don't care about, or both, it's just kind of like, who? <laughs> Whoa, what? Oh, that's the cape. I was like, what, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what was that? <laughs> Like it like super clicked through him. Look, look at this look at this thing. Look look at this battleship that Rob brings with him everywhere. Anyway, the actual bad guy of the game versus the guy who killed said bad guy when he first showed up. Well he didn't kill him, he just incapacitated him. Akuma can't kill anything, his track record's awful. It's true. He probably couldn't even kill Dan with the with the Shin Goku Satsu. He tried. It didn't work out so well for him. Dan actually almost did it in back to him. I know, he, he tripped on a rock. I'm just like, huh, alright. I guess uh, the Shin Goku Satsu is just like Super Saiyan. You get pissed off enough, anyone can do it. Yeah. Yeah, Dan, Dan's, anyone can get a connection with the Dark Ado. It's, it's more like the Force, you know? No, see, if it were the case, then it would be, it just lets you do whatever the writer or director needs for it to do. It's kind of like the Power Cosmic. Oh, he, he has a chain? Rob's always got a chain. I don't pay attention to him. That's interesting to know. <laughs> That's cold, bro. Did you hit a button? Did you hit a button? Oh, you did not hit a button. Oh, no! Wow, and you really didn't hit a button to punish that. Yo, look at Scott and uh -huh. Rob TV uh -huh. Oh no! Ooh. Yeah, you got a round. You got a round. Do it again. Let's go. Do yeah, it. That, that should have been done. Let's go. He got one round. Great. Do it again. Oh, oh. Oh, nice. He has to, I guess he does know how to finish his combos. Welcome to Stun City, Mr. Bison. Ow, 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 oh, ow. Damn. You know, speaking of cities, I heard Circuit City's coming back. Why? Ow. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, looking like somebody looks like somebody actually knows how to play this game. One O. -oh. Rob TV's fate. Going right back into it. Bison look like he's an ambassador for St. Valentine's. Come with me, and I will find your soulmate. We'll sift through every soul until we find her. I don't know. He looks like he probably doesn't care either way. Yeah. Although, uh, the alpha movie would have you beg to differ. Which one? Uh, the one with the, with the dumb little kid who had the dark ado. Oh, that one. I thought you were talking about the, the other one where he, like, he, he's like flexed to the point where he became a tree. He had all his veins popping out, looking like roots. It was, it was gross. And now that just makes me think of Akuma versus Asura from Asura's Wrath. Oh, where they both look like trees. Yeah, because <laughs> they were basically statues for like a thousand years, and they were like, "All right, we've rested enough. Let's finish this." <laughs> I like that forward hard punch every time Vega th or that Ice throws out. It's just like stop. Yeah. Ooh. And then right there, he's just like, straight up kind of vogue. Oh, Ooh. shit. Oh, look at who's got into here. Is it just vogue? Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> I wouldn't even need to express this. Ow. Did you just pop me in the mouth? Yes, I did. Can Rob TV defeat this, this, this interrupted chain of offense? Sure. Just quick jab to the chest. Why not? 
Oh, wow. Alright, so Rob actually, like, remembered how to play the game. 2-0 against Scotty Tippin. You hate to see someone uh, travel an hour to, 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 to lose, but... He knew what he was getting into. He knew what was happening. When you, when you sign the terms and agreements of entering a tournament, there is a very, very distinct possibility that you will come hours, if not days, away to for some bus ass. So, we gotta figure out who is up next. Hey Rob, have head says you get to keep your chain since you didn't lose. He said if you he said if you lost you'd have to give your chain. I didn't realize you had a chain, so be be thankful about that. <laughs> All right, but for real, uh, arcade edition drops tomorrow. It's going to be pretty hype, except from the hours of uh, 5 a.m. to noon uh, Pacific time. Yep. But hey, props to Capcom for actually like giving us the afternoon to fucking play the game. Yeah, it's nice that they're you know trying to yeah course correct. That means I get uh, seven hours to play Dragon Ball Fighters. Damn straight. <laughs> That's what it really means. Yo, Desk already has some sick Krillin tech. I know his Oki is too good. Rock low, rock high, rock into jump grab. I'm like, oh god, it's so good. <laughs> Well, looks like we got. See you in ten, everybody. Oh boy, looks like we got hit, man. Who will he be playing? You know who you're going up against. Hey, hey, you know who you're going up against. Oh, Iron Man. All right. Looks like we got X D S C Hitman versus Iron Zangief. Vaughn! Vaughn! Matt's dying in the bathroom, so I need someone to talk about. Oh, okay. What what happened to him? Oh, he's his stomach's all effed up. He got sick or something. I don't know. Uh, but the point is, I don't want to necessarily want to ride solo. I mean, I could, but people might get tired of hearing me riff on everyone. So I, I need someone. To, I need a sounding board. I understand. I got you. I got you. So what we got going on? So we got, we're gonna have XDSC Hitman with his bison versus man. Iron Zangief's either. Obviously, either Zangief or Ab Abigail. Or he might pull out another character. I think he needs to be Beef. There you go. Alright. Battle of the Mains. Let's go. This is going to be a pretty interesting matchup. Oh, they both hit hard. It's yes, matter they of do. I'll tell you one thing. Hitman is really, really good on his neutral. He's good on his whip punishes. So let's see what... What Iron Zangief can do. Let's see what the situation is going to be because he's going to have to try and get in. He's going to try and have to get in real hard. Mm -hmm. Now in AE, Zangief looks scary. Oh, man. That V-Trigger 2? Oh, God. Yes. Let's see what we got. See, look, he's already trying to move in on him. Very good. Spacing out those charged hard punches. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Max. Oh, and Bison. Come here. He do everything Max Rage, man. That's the sign of someone who knows their spacing. Exactly. Now, now, uh, all that purple getting thrown around. Pressure. Let's <laughs> go. Oh. All right, it's Iron Zangief. He needs to figure something out. Well, it's Zangief. All you need is three good throws, and oh, you're, yeah. you're dead. You got one. There you go. Uh, oh, missed Oh, missed, you missed two of them. No, you missed that one. You can't be foot whiffing though, sir. Right. That's what's going to cost you. Like that. See, Hitman is... Hitman, he, he, he's so good at whiff punishing, man. 
because because since Bison moves so slow, it's good to measure. He can measure out his spacing correct, so that way, like he can do everything max range with punish. Boom, it's over. So Zang, if he Iron Zang, he got to be a little bit more careful. He's got to be more punctual with his with his, with his decisions. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's one. Let's see what the mix up is. Ooh, Ow. let's go. Ow. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see what we can do with stun. Get off me. Right. There's two. Let's go. There it is. Come here. There's three. Told you. Three yep. good throws. That's all it takes. Throw. That's all you need. <laughs> let's go. What is the answer? <laughs> It's funny when Bison throws Nikali out of his beach, uh, B reversal. Because oh. Nikali's B reversal, he screams. Right. But when Bison grabs you, he grabs you over in your mouth. <laughs> so it literally looks like he's shutting him up just to throw him. Right. Shut up, beard. <laughs> out of here with that. Nice spacing. He like said up. max range on all his, uh, all his normals. Everything. But then again, when you're like 7 feet 5. Right. <laughs> and your limbs are as long as hell. Look at that. Look at that. That's a drumline bison right there. <laughs> Jump in. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. He hasn't gotten any grabs off yet. I mean, bison's grabbing all the time, but I think he hasn't gotten his command grabs. See, it looks like he doesn't have a strategy to get in yet because it's his. I'm telling you, his space is everything. Is so There's your strategy to get in. There's one. Oh, let's see what happens. There's two. Oh, let's do. He hit him with the uh. Where's the third one? Oh, hit him in the that head. Was good. That right. was an unfortunate trade. But the XD, XDSC Hitman takes that first game over Iron Tank Game one. So I wonder if if he's going to make any adjustments or if he knows the adjustments to make. He's going to be able to actually. He's going to have to. <laughs> or he's going to get out. He's going to get kicked out of losers. Let's go. We're going right back into it. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. I'd like to see him better spacing on his normals and not running into stuff like that. What I, what I feel like he needs to do, I think he should. He needs to let Bison come to him because exactly. any time that he keeps going forward, he's getting stuck. But when he's kiting Bison, that's usually way better for him. It's like this whole match, he's trying to force his way in. Exactly. And he keeps getting he keeps punished, getting for, punished it. for it. So if anything, just like, I hate to say be the turtle defensive, but like right there, there let see? him come to you. So there's one throw. There you go. Throw. Let's, see we, let's see what we can do. Let's see what the mix up well, is. There's third. three. Oh. Oh, he missed the combo. Yeah, the suction didn't hit him yet. Oh, uh, yep, unfortunately, yep. though. Once again, wins but via trade. I ain't saying if he had it for a second, but he lost it. Let's see if he can come up and do it again. So again, needs to not force his way in. Just let, right, just let him come to you. Because yep. he needs to get in to do his stuff. Exactly. Most of his stuff. He only has like two long distance Real moves. honestly, Bison can stay in one place the whole time. Just keep that space up. Yep. That space in the soul. Oh, it, it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt that like half, like two of his normal, the best normals move him forward. Exactly. He steps forward when he does it, like that. Exactly. Like his full, was it forward heavy heavy punch? It's like it's diagonal heavy punch. Yeah. He has four, yeah. He the has forward and then the down forward. Yeah. And they both like he takes a step when he does it. Yep. Look, he doesn't need to move anywhere. He doesn't need to move forward. He, he really nothing. doesn't. Got a good life lead. He can just let him. See, like even then, like at the proper spacing, he can throw out that heavy kick, and yep. there's nothing he can nothing do, he can about, do it. about it. He might hit him with the super here in a second. I was gonna tell you if he actually gets a hit confirmed, he's gonna bicycle kick. He's gonna bicycle or scissor kick into super. Yep. Uh -oh. If he doesn't die first. See? Oh, there it is, Got him. ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Just like that. Game two. There you go. You have, like, I saw that full bar, I'm like, he's gonna hit him with a super. Right, right. But just like that, Hitman takes it over Iron Tanky 2-0. Good, good stuff to both of them.
So, we gotta find out who is up next. Where did my play? That's what I wanna know. What you mean, bro? You took that. You took that. You almost said a lot of them. I know. You can never sleep on fucking him. I know. So, uh, who is up? Yeah, let's wait for our next opponents. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So we got Book now. Yo, Book, I don't know if you came for my birthday now. I did. That's the only one. We almost got you with Durag, but you got too much hair. So we got we got the birthday boy here, my man Eric. This is his birthday. We got cupcakes and cake all on the table. It feels like a feels like a potluck. Oh, is that what that was there for? Yeah. I just thought people were being fat and wanted to eat. <laughs> no, this is birthday. So how old is he now? I, I don't know. I know, I, know, I, know how, I know how many times to sock him. <laughs> and I'm not going to announce I'm doing it too. I'm not going to do them all once too. I'm just going to do them spare, spare them out like one. <laughs> Damn. He not, he not paying attention. Walk up and kick him in the legs too. Damn, 20, 28 smackers right out of red. Then I'm going to go Tekken on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn. <laughs> Wall bound, 11, 12, pick him up, 13. There you go. All right. I'm not that violent. I only like acting like I'm violent because it gets, it's good for fun. <laughs> so we got 9-5, Bug Knights, and GL-809 getting ready to go in. Cammy and Kim. Blonde Fighter 5 coming up. Right on. Yo, that Red Bull costume is kind of tight. Hey, my name is Great Value Water. Hey, I don't care. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. Play the game. Don't lose. Play the damn. Damn. Dude, hey, you heard anyway. it. You heard it. Let's go. Round one. Great Value Water. Okay. The pimp coat. Yo, the pimp coat. The pimp coat that's, that's clipping. Yo, on. yo, she got just playing with the coat on though. Look at that. Eric, you better, you better win, or Karen's gonna have to go on the block tonight. He ain't winning. <laughs> I'm looking at that coat. I'm like, why are you clipping through it? Right. It's almost like it's not there. <laughs> All right. So we got. Uh, okay. We got Kid making the advantage. Oh, Eric with the comeback. Punish. Let's go. What's next? Mix up. Neutral. We got the footsies. We got. Okay. Come back. Pressure. Wall. Okay. Now he's in the wall. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Buffer. That was good. Well, he has a round. Let's see how well he can do after this. Oh, he had to take. She had to take off the coat for this. There you go. Yeah, because it looked dumb on her. <laughs> It'd be different if they had like actual physics behind the animation, right, but right. they don't. It's just kind of. That alpaca. Okay. Neutral. Let's see. Okay, bet. Who am I playing? Um, I'm like, okay. Hey, um, I'm gonna change my stuff real quick. Oh, okay. It's not blocking. All right. Oh, okay. So, GLA and I had to change the stick. That's why you got button checks! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Is there a problem? We got, we got the, we got great, that. Great <laughs> <laughs> Yay, yeah, yeah, I changed your name. Play the game. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, that's nice. So we're waiting on GL809 to actually, we're waiting on GL809 to change his, like, change his stick. Because apparently he wasn't blocking, even though we have button checks specifically for this. Just Damn. saying. Damn. So, so y'all replaying that match? No, no, he won. Oh. No, okay. I'm from Mansfield. I take what I can get. Yeah, you better. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I said he won that, so. Oh 
Wow, this is taking a sweet time loading. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, Biden, check him. I'm taking that. I can't, I can't blame him. Oh, no, no, him. Wins a win. Yeah, I was like, I can't blame him. It ain't my fault it's just getting fucked up. Me and check it. Take it. That's shit. Wins a win. Whether it's by one second or a million, a million miles. You win, you win. Right. Give me, give me Capcom Cup. Eric Hardy. Give me Eric Hardy. Oh, shoot. So, we got Valley Water telling GL89, stop sucking so bad and play the damn game. Damn. Let's see what we got here. Round one. All right. Buffer, let's go. Ball carry. Got him in the corner pressure. What is Eric going Uppercut. to do? Uppercut. I've pressure. got those. Let's go. Up. Back in the corner. Up. Yes! Okay. Okay. Damn, just stuck her in the mouth. Seems like Eric's having a tough time trying to get out in the corner, trying to start a momentum. He has a tough time not getting hit. Exactly. That's what it is. It's like, no, I have a tough time getting out of the corner. No, he has a tough time not blocking. <laughs> or a tough time blocking, I'm sorry. What is going on? Look at that. Didn't block. Didn't block. Didn't block. Damn. Didn't block. Didn't block. Didn't block. <laughs> All those. Did not block. Play, hold back! Play, play the game, Eric! Play the game! Play the game. <laughs> what is going on? He's getting hit, that's what. <laughs> Repeatedly. He's holding back. Oh, there you go. Let's see if you can get some momentum started. Let's see what the mix-up is. Oh, damn. And Book Knights. Great value water. I'm sorry. It's, it's fully loaded. Okay. Was. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. What we got? What's going to happen? What's the next move? There was nothing she could have done. <laughs> I think she's going to count that with EX Techno. Probably, but, you know, that would require intelligence to, like, think that far ahead. Wow. Okay, oh, there we go. All right. Okay. He gets around. Got around in. Finally. Wow. Let's see what we can do now. Okay, let's see what we can do on the next round. Who's going to win it? With no meter. No meter. Ken's got a couple bars. Yeah, we got him. Like, where's that medium kick at? Yo, just, just throw it out. He hits that standing strong every time. Frame traps. Oh, this is looking more like a combo video oh, instead oh, of a match. Oh. Uh oh. There we go. Let's see if he can come back from this. How you, how you gonna trap it like that? This ain't. Oh. Uh, rip me. <laughs> yeah, rip you indeed. That's what I'm about to do because that was a fuck up. That was a <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see what he can do. He's, well, you go hit that Spanish strong kind of hurricane kick. Uh oh. Get off me. Oh. Oh, oh shit, he's about to come back. It, is he though? Eric about to make a comeback. Oh, is he oh never mind. Yeah, I was like, is he though? Oh. I don't think so. And that's it. Great value. Water takes the match. Yeah, it's called you getting hit repeatedly. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, book night slash great value water advances on. Hey, what name do you have on here? GL eight oh nine. No, no, you. Oh, me, Von uh, Von Doom. G E Von Doom. Well, you can just keep Von Doom. It don't matter. Is that good? Yeah, that's fine. All right, good. So that's what's going on.